In part 3 of the Cyberlink PowerProducer 5 tutorials on authoring disks, we will show you how to customize your disk menu. In Cyberlink PowerProducer 5, you can create VCD, DVD, Blu-ray and AVCHD disks in a variety of video recording formats and with the aspect ratio that fits both your content and playback environment. In this tutorial, we will use the project we worked on in parts 1 and 2, which has content ready for burning. When you enter the Customize menu window, select Templates to view all the available menu templates in PowerProducer. To apply a menu template, just select it. You can also download additional menu templates from DirectorZone. DirectorZone has thousands of free menu templates created by Cyberlink PowerProducer users. Once you select the template you want to use, Set the number of thumbnail buttons that are displayed on each menu page. The number of thumbnail buttons that can be displayed is dependent on the design of the menu template. Disk menus in Cyberlink PowerProducer 5 contain up to three layers or pages. The main page, the titles or scenes page, and the chapters page. You can customize the number of thumbnail buttons on the scene and chapter pages and import custom backgrounds for all three pages. Let's first import a custom background on the main page of our menu by selecting the Add to Template button. The process for changing the background for the scene and chapter pages is the same. Just use the controls in the menu window to navigate to each page. You can use your own photos as the background, adding a personal touch to your disk menu. Once you have selected your template and customized the layout, it's time to edit the text displayed in your menu. The text can be edited on each menu page and even for the button thumbnails. You can also import your own music to use as the menu background music, replacing any default music that was applied to the template. You can only use one music track as the menu's background music, but you can set it to auto-repeat or trim it if required. Before burning your disk, select the Preview tab to preview what your disk will look like on your disk player.
Once you are satisfied with your results, finalize your disc by proceeding with the burning process.